Up next, I'm going to show you how to install Rich's Police Enhancements, which will allow you to have uh, ambient backup, automatic pursuit updates with beep tone alert when active, pit maneuver, and suspect stamina um, is reduced when they're fleeing, and much, much more. Download this. Click download. There will be a link in the description, by the way. Click agree and download. And then we're going to um, download two things. The first thing I want you to download is at the bottom, Rich's Police Enhancements, the latest version, 1.5.3. And then after that, I want you to download in the middle, it says streets.rar. Download that as well. Next, go to your downloads and... Um, open up uh, Rich's police enhancements you, you have to have a way of opening RAR folders if you don't uh, I've got a tutorial for it with a link uh, for 8-zip light which is free and it'll help you out um, so we're gonna open this up and we're going to right click click extract and we're gonna extract this to the desktop I'm going to click select folder. And I'm going to do the same thing with streets. Right click. No, no, I'm sorry. Open it up. Uh, and then right click, click extract. And remember, it's labeled LSPDFR lowercase. Click desktop and then um, select folder. Okay, first we're going to install Rich's Police Enhancements, which uh, here it is, it's labeled Grand Theft Auto 5. So I'm going to open that up, and then I'm going to minimize it. And you can see it's easy. It shows you... Um, so we're going to go to the GTA 5 uh, root directory. I've got a shortcut for GTA 5 on the desktop. I'm going to right-click that shortcut, click Open File Location. It brings me right into the uh, main directory. And so we'll do um, we'll do this one first. Plugins. So we'll go here. Plugins. Then click this. And there's a corresponding LSPDFR folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these three. If you've got Grammar Police, Police Smart Radio, or Vocal Dispatch, don't delete these three. Keep them. Because um, they work with um, Rich's Police Enhancements. Uh, but I, I don't have those, so I'm not going to do them. Uh, so I'm going to copy... If, if you have those, though, just do all, everything. So I'm going to copy these. I'm going to paste them into the LSPDFR folder. And just uh, replace. If it asks you to replace, replace. And that's it. Next, we're going to go back. I'm hitting this up arrow. And uh, we're going to do the LSPDFR. So let me go back over to my Grand Theft Auto 5. And we're going to hit up. And we're going to go to the LSPDFR. It's labeled lowercase. It's this one. Not to be confused with the other LSPDFR that's upper uppercase in the plugins folder. A lot of people get confused about that. So we're going to go in this one. Open up the corresponding one. It says audio. And then it's got scanner. And a sound effects under scanner it's got this so we're going to copy this paste it into scanner it might just go in it might ask you if you want to replace if it says replace then replace I've already installed it so um, but you'll see yep see where where I've got it RPA it's in there. So it's just the same way I've got it installed. And then for sound effects, <clears throat> that's this. 
All you do is you open it up and then you copy these two and you paste them into this sound effects folder. You'll see I've got them in there. You can also drag and drop if you prefer. And that's it. Rich's uh, Police Enhancements is now installed. And what we're going to do is we're going to do streets. So I'm going to close Rich's Police Enhancements, which was the GTA 5 folder right here. And let me go back up to here. We're still in the Grand Theft Auto 5 main root directory, but I shifted it over to this side of the screen. I'm going to uh, delete this since we're done with it just to avoid confusion uh, now that that's installed and um, we're going to do the streets and then after that I'm going to do the uh, configuration settings with you so to in uh, install the streets that was the one that we extracted to the desktop that was lowercase lspdfr here it is we'll open it up and it says audio which is under here under LSPDFR audio I hope I'm not confusing you guys remember I did the switcheroo now I've got the G Grand Theft Auto folder over here now and, and the other ones here so don't get confused um, audio scanner and I'm just opening the corresponding folder and it you can you're just it shows you where to go all you do is open and see the location so streets goes inside of scanner so, so I'm just going to copy or you can drag and drop and then I'm going to paste it into scanner. Again, you can uh, drag and drop it. It'll, it could just go in there or, or it might ask you uh, if you want to replace, if it does just replace, I've already got it in there. I'll show you. Uh, you can see streets. There it is. It's the, so. And that's it, now Streets is installed. Next, uh, we're going to do the configuration settings real quick. Um, and I shouldn't have closed that. we got to go back into here. We're going to go to the, the shortcut for Grand Theft Auto 5, open file location, and then come up and click on Plugins, LSPDFR. Come down to Rich's Police Enhancements and click on the Configuration Settings. Um, um, well, actually, some of you might be able to click on it and, and, and make an adjustment. If Some of you might not be able to. So what I have to do is I have to make a little folder. I'm going to click New Folder. And I'm just going to label it um, Config. I... It's a config.ini, but I've already got one labeled that, so I'm just going to label this one config since I'm showing you guys. And then you can move Rich's police enhancements. Copy it and paste it into a config. And then delete this one. And then, if, and then what you can do is you can edit this, and then you can repaste it back in. Some of you might be able to do it without doing this trick, but this is what I have to do. And this is what I recommend the way that I recommend doing it. Um, be very, very careful when you edit this. So everything, um, the way it comes, I should have showed you the way it was default. This is the way I have it, but I had to switch everything to true. And I didn't switch everything. Certain things I didn't switch. But you have to read it closely if you want to. You, you can leave it the way it is. But the way it is is um, everything is pretty much turned off. So I'm just going to show you here. Uh, enable the ambient pursuit backup. Like I think that was off. I turned it on. I, I put true. But when you adjust this, if you don't do it correctly, you're going to mess your game up or you'll mess the script mod up it could make your game crash so what you have to do is you have to copycat very closely so um, see where this says true if I wanted to switch it to false I'd have to switch it exactly the same way lowercase not uppercase see the equal sign and then true there's no space so I would switch it equal and then false no space um, and I'll give you a quick example if I wanted to switch this to false, I would do this. 
and that's it once you're once you're on duty uh, and there's a pursuit or something or somebody's fleeing from you um, it'll kick in automatically if you have it installed uh, correctly next I'll show you guys uh, a pit maneuver One Ocean Two, ten fifteen. Ten four, copy that. Ten fifteen, suspect in custody in Cypress Flat. Is transport required? Ten four, copy that. Transport required. <laughs> 